So, The Aristocrats has been greenlit for a live-action remake. Yippee! Another soulless adaptation of a classic Disney film because we are in the age of creative and soon financial bankruptcy. Oh, wait, hold on. Quest Love is directing. <laughs> False alarm. Everything's gonna be just fine. This is obviously gonna be a fantastic movie. I'm sure being the drummer for The Roots and the incredibly funny and interesting Jimmy Fallon has prepared him for this moment. If you came to me and said, Gundam, I want Flea to direct the live action adaptation of Pocahontas, I'd ask you if you lost your goddamn mind. Taste the, moment. the Aristocrats is another in a long line of films Disney has adapted from its creative golden age. There was a time, believe it or not, when Disney meant quality. I know it sounds like I'm talking crazy. I'm serious. Disney used to be good. When you look back at where Disney was to where it is going, it's safe to say that nothing but dark days are ahead. From breathtaking animation and catchy songs that stick in your head for years after the premiere of the movie has long since passed, is now replaced with identity politics and pointless reboots and reimaginings. Oh, the dirty R words that they have no problem using. This video is brought to you by Hyper Fever. Head game maker Crayplay invites you to play Hyper Fever. Critics call it the most mobile of all mobile games. Build a unique character from our preset warlords in the only real time card strategy MMO that lets you play offline, online. Game Hub hails it the best. Hey, stop! I know, Hyper Fever was simply too good to be true. That's because it is. This video is actually brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. You gotta love the faction designs in Raid, from the absolutely badass Bone Knights to the Banner Lords. And what game will be complete without sexy dark elves that look like your ex-girlfriend and are just as dangerous for your mental health? I like it a lot. Raid Shadow Legends continues to get bigger and better with the most requested features, live arena PvP. Raid's letting you duke it out against other players live, picking and banning champions before dueling to determine the ultimate warrior. It's not just prestige you're fighting for though. Live Arena is bringing some awesome rewards too. I'm talking new artifact sets, fragments for legendary void champion, and special Live Arena chests that unlock powerful new bonuses at the Great Hall. With all this exciting stuff and more coming to raid, if you haven't started playing yet, then what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses. We're talking about Epic Champion Drake from Lizardman Faction and other useful things. Energy refills, skill tome, XP boosters. So hit my link in the description and I'll see you in the battlefield. The Little Mermaid seems poised to do about as well as the live action Pinocchio film did. And that film was so disliked, people memory hold it and Tom Hanks for the better part of a year. What was once driven by story is now driven by representation. Which don't get me wrong, representation is good and all if it's original or done in a clever way. The Little Mermaid reboot, if I recall correctly, the film won't be about Ariel needing the love of a man, which kind of defeats the purpose of the story itself because she goes to the surface because she's in love with the prince, right? But now I guess it's got a little bit of empowerment. You go, girl. At that point, you may as well just do something different if you're going to change characters and story beats but maybe that's just my patriarchy talking everything is sexist everything is racist everything is homophobic personally i don't need a character to be a reflection of me i need a character to inspire me which i think is sorely needed in our society today something to make people not just want to be better but do better if the hero in the story is already like me why would i need to change i'm already perfect as chris chan says I'm the real player one. It seems like everything is boiling down to after the COVID scare, major companies like Disney doubled down on trying to keep their over expanding businesses alive on nostalgia and recycling properties. But it's obvious this business model isn't creatively nor financially stable. I mean, at some point, you're gonna run out of stuff to reboot, you know? I mean, for real, look at this remake list, dude. The Little Mermaid, 2023 in May. Snow White, March 2024. That one makes no sense. The evil witch mother that's supposed to be the fairest of them all is like put off by Snow White because Snow White's more beautiful. But the chicks playing Snow White is less attractive than Gal Gadot as the queen. It don't make sense. 
I'm supposed to sit here and be... What are they going to do? They're going to ugly up Gal Gadot for the movie? Because they're going to have to. I'm not being mean to the chick, but let's face it. I had to choose between her and Gal Gadot. It's Gadot all day, baby. He's gay! Anyway, uh, Mufasa, the prequel to The Lion King 2024. James Earl Jones can barely speak. He's so old. Hercules, remember that cartoon? Live action remake to be announced. Ironically, seeing Danny DeVito actually reprise his role for the live action would make total sense and it would actually work. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. The Aristocrats. That's where I started off at. I was just like, they were remaking the Aristocrats. That's down the pipeline. How many were doing? Oh, my God. Peter Pan. That's coming out this year, too. And I totally forgot it existed till I saw this list. And after watching the trailer again, I see why I forgot it existed. If the dislike ratio is anything to go by, this film is dead on arrival. Nothing here is of any value or substance. And most of the magic, which is what Disney was once based on, is now gone. Disney is a shadow of its former self, robbing its own grave and past masterpieces to turn a quick and shitty buck. Oh well, it's not my childhood getting ruined, so what do I care? They've already killed Star Wars, so I got nothing left. Just when I thought the video was done, the Rock spearheads another fresh back to box office poison. Story, one that you all know very well. And that story is, drum roll please. Moana! Moana! That's right. Thanks. I hate it. After successfully killing the DCEU with Black Adam, in a way that the Joker could only dream of, we are now getting Moana. This movie isn't even 10 years old, yet Disney is scraping the bottom of the barrel. But most likely, it is The Rock. Reality is setting in that he isn't the box office draw that he thought he was, and his ego cannot handle it. But for some reason, companies keep letting him make projects and pay him for it. I'd kill to fail upwards like this. Well, point being, Twitter got a load of this scary great news and read him to filth. Why are you remaking something that isn't even 10 years old, LOL? Moana came out like last week. Why though? Isn't it too early? Moana hasn't even been around 10 years. It's pretty depressing that animation is literally the reason Disney even exists, yet they contribute to this disrespect at every given opportunity. Moana came out in 2016. It's not even a decade old yet. A live action remake isn't just disrespectful, it's pointless. What are we doing here, dude? This is beyond strange. It feels like they're trying to cater to childhood nostalgia. But everyone who was under the age of 10 when the Moana came out is still a teenager now. Who is this supposed to be for? In the beginning, live action remakes were 45 years apart from the original animated films, then 30, then 20. Moana is eight apart. In four years, we'll be seeing originals and remakes every other year. By 2030, animated original and live action remakes will release simultaneously. How cute, Papa Rena, that you even think they'll bother doing animation. When the live action is so much cheaper. For real, the OG Moana movie isn't even a decade old yet. And they are already doing a live action remake? We haven't even had time to feel nostalgic for the first. To justify a live action remake. This just illustrates how seriously few new ideas they're willing to take a chance on. Yes, Luke. Actually, I talked to someone in the animated industry when I was pitching an idea that I had for a very funny show. Wait, I didn't have the idea. Someone else did. But anyway, I was going to be involved with writing. And they told me the probability of this happening was slim and next to none unless it was tied to some existing IP. Welcome to 2023. Most reasonable explanation for the Moana remake is that Dwayne Johnson is desperate for a guaranteed hit and he knows where to find one. The business drama around Black Adam and Fast and the Furious burned Dwayne Johnson so bad he's going back to Moana. I'm sure it'll be great, but I've said before, an actor with an ego like he, he does knows until he finds an iconic character he won't last i could extrapolate that and make it make more sense but i'm tired and it's five in the morning we making moana less than a decade after the animated film came out feels insane to me but dwayne johnson's clearly desperate for a big live action hit after black adam flops so at the end of the animated film moana our hero finally inspires her people to explore the world wouldn't it be a great idea to make a sequel or a series that followed up on that hopeful ending no, that's why you're getting the rock in a live action, you little bigot. So there you go. Another pointless remake to, um, to waste your time. 
in the finite amount of life you have left on this earth. Another meaningless piece of drivel that will be just sent out in hopes that they can sell Funko Pops, toys, and other tchotchkes that no one really wants and will have no value. And when you die, it won't matter. All the shit you've got will be garbage. Your most prized possessions will be trashed to someone else in your family or something for a quick flip. And The Rock will continue to make horrible movies till the day you die. Stu, I'm sorry. I got very dark. I'm very depressed. I just can't take it anymore. I can't take it.